I bet you're wondering where I picked up this beautiful Commodore 64 programmer's reference guide. It's been completely reworked from the bottom up. Stick around to find out. Somebody pointed out this blog post link to me on the OSK Discord. And it was that somebody had re completely redone the programmer's reference guide in their own style. If you read the blog post, it's really interesting and it goes into great detail on what they did. Some of the highlights are the programmer's reference guide has been completely rewritten faithfully page per page to the original. It does not contain the fold out Commodore 64 diagram at the rear of the original. The user's guide deviates slightly from the original page numbering and there were some stylistic changes that were made. It looks like the author is still taking suggestions if there are any errors that are found in the work that he's produced so far. But then he goes on to show us how you can go on to the Lulu website and with the information that he's presented, the PDFs that he posted, and he gives you a little quick guide on how to print your own copy of the book using lulu.com so if you're interested in taking this journey go ahead and create your own lulu.com account and then go ahead and download the pdfs that are going to be required and start following the guide as we'll show here when you click register all you have to do is enter your first name last name your email Put in your preferred currency and then select your language. You have to, of course, enter a password and then you will be sent an email and you'll have to verify that email. And then after you've verified your email, you can get on with your project. And here what I was doing is I was switching back and forth between the blog site to make sure I was doing it the proper way and, and to look, follow the instructions. And then I would switch back to this tab to make my selections. And some of this, it seems tedious, but you have to pick your language and the book categories, etc. And then you have to upload the PDFs. So before you can upload, of course, you have to download them. And they're all provided on the link to the blog site. And then here you'll see just all of the dozens of options that you have on the Lulu website. You have the color, you have the premium choices, and the hardcover versus the paperback, etc. And then you have your matte finish or your glossy finish. And then you can upload your cover file here. And of course, you would have had to have downloaded it in order to upload it. It's very simple stuff. We're just going through the steps. And then once you complete all the steps, you submit your order and, and then it's just a waiting game. Wow, and here it is. It took two and a half weeks once I placed the order, and it is beautiful, at least from the cover. I'm going to zoom it in a little. And it doesn't feel cheap or anything. It's, this feels premium. It is such a beautiful copy of the programmer's reference manual. Programmer's reference guide. It's probably the way Commodore should have made them back in the day. Look at it. It really came out beautiful. It came out, I, my expectations were much lower.
I'm just gonna skip ahead into the book and just kind of take. It just has that premium feel to it. It might be the best book I've ever purchased from Lulu.com. It's even printed in color. Notice the color headings. 